rector of the Continental University in Kiev, advisor of Henry Malos, the president of the European Economic and Social Committee, speaker for the European Commission, Team Europe France. Дорогі колеги, хочу представити нашого наступного спікера. Це Олів'є Ведрін, доповідач Європейської комісії, радник по Україні Андрій Малоса, президента Європейського комісійного соціального комітету, президент бізнес-школи Континентального університету при педагогічному університеті імені Драгоманова. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will present to you a text I wrote with the president Ari Malos. This text, this text is a proposal how the civil society can solve the crisis in Ukraine. This text was edited in the newspaper La Tribune in France. It was edited May 9. I will do a small summary of this text. And as you know, the goal of this text is how the civil society can solve the crisis. There were a lot of deaf people in Maidan in Kiev during January and February. And these were already too many fatalities. Mostly young people. They came from all over Ukraine, east, west, south, north, and of course about in, in Kiev. Most of them were activists who just wanted to keep their European dream against a corrupted system. Some cut down in of age by sniper who come from nowhere. Others tortured and killed in the forest. Some police officers have also been killed, victim of a lawless regime. Now, other dead people in the airport of Ukraine, and the number is growing. But let the justice and the historian work and let us to act to stop this carnage. Let us to do everything to stop this flood of false propaganda that make Russian citizens and Eastern Ukraine believe in good faith that Kiev is given over to so-called extremists or fascists. The Eastern populations are still unaware of the fact that the law so decreed restricting the use of the Russian language was rippled before the vote and that a majority of the political forces in Kiev are favorable to decentralization. Let us stop hate speech and revenge that will soon be irreparable for next generation. For example, the mayor of Lugansk um, killed kids to go to fight in Kiev against fascists. We believe that two forces can still act immediately to stop this horrible crisis. First of all, the civil society. It has peacefully initiated on Maidan movement in Kiev, before the police violence become unbearable. Let us immediately open the narrow path of dialogue between all stakeholders of Ukraine to get a consensus of national unity. Famous personality can support the movement, artists, intellectual, writers, in order to have any chance of success, this initiative must be strongly supported by the European Union. We must not accept that a new imperialist war or another civil war is sitting in the earth of Europe. We have been no able to avoid in the 90s the civil war in Yugoslavia because Europe was, at this time, divided like today. It is therefore critical that we, we were impotent. Europe's civil society must play a central role in this initiative. The European Economic and Social Committee was the first European institution in January and also in December, they were there. But in January this year, 
they adopt a resolution to condemn the violence in Kiev, demanding sanctions against those responsible and to call for dialogue. Two times, the President Arimalos was on Maidan to support the aspiration to support the European values, as me, I did three speeches on Maidan. And we called for dialogue between all the parties. The EU, with the European Economic and Social Committee, can and has to do everything to enable dialogue between all the parties with an interest in the peaceful resolution of the situation. That is to say, with Ukrainian from the north, from the east, from the west, and from the south, with Russian, with American governments, with EU representatives. When I call, for example, about the eastern part of Ukraine, we can also involve the trade union of the miners because they are in favor of a united Ukraine. This is the only solution, mutual respect and peaceful way of thinking to resolve the crisis with the principle of discussion. It is never too late. Every day is one too many. Let us launch together with the support of the EU, a civil dialogue initiative. Thank you very much. Question? When I talk about all the parties, I talk about all the parties, include the eastern part of Ukraine. Why all the people. All the roundtables that have been taking place, they do not include the representatives of the separatists. I, we have to talk, uh, for example, after the Second World War in France, we talked with all the parts of France, uh, uh, and uh, we talk about the uh, former IP representative of the government of Vichy, we were fascist, and we talk with them to make a unity. That means we have to talk with everybody. We cannot exclude anyone. But uh, we, uh, for the eastern part of Ukraine, I think this is better to work, to work and to talk with the trade union of the miners, who are more strong. And uh, they really are the key issue, I think, in the economical way and in the social way to solve uh, a large part of the problem in the eastern part of Ukraine. Uh, and I prefer to talk with positive uh, person. They are still workers. Other questions? Um, what, could, could you uh, uh, repeat exactly uh, this thing working? Uh, what what your initiative is? Um, uh, yeah, what what the actual like short uh, description of it and, and the objective. Okay, thank you very much for this question. Uh, as, as I said, I, I only uh, no, present a part of the text we edited in the journal La Tribune, uh, and, uh, uh, but the issue is to organize a round table, okay? Uh, and um, I participate in some round, uh, round table, round table with civil, uh, civil society representatives in Kiev, like uh, the trade union, like the uh, federation of the employer, like some NGO. And uh, um, this is already possible to organize a round table. And uh, the proposal of the President Rimalos in this text, and also my proposal, is to organize, in this text, we propose to organize a round table with civil representatives of the civil society. We, um, this is the job of the uh, comi European Committee of, of Civil Society. And uh, that means you talk with the health of the people. We, you talk with the, uh, uh, with the civil society, and that's the most important. Uh, I talked with some uh, high representative of the civil society, NGO, trade unions, uh, employers, and they are in favor of that. They are in favor. Um, but now they are in the election process, 
and um, this is not the time maybe to do that. But very quickly, I think we will organize some other round, uh, also other round table. But we did already some round tables to organize a uh, forum for civil society. Yeah, we did what's, that. What, what's, what's the actual, you're not talking about negotiating with a, the separatists or the rebels, you're talking about uh, Kiev area for what, uh, to develop some kind of future plans for um, uh, what exactly? No, when I say I, we, we, we organize some uh, round table, that's with in Kiev, with uh, official representative for like Federation of Employer and Trade Union, okay? The proposal is to go more far and to organize with all the part of Ukraine around, uh, around table. And um, I, I think with the eastern part of Ukraine, that will be great if we can have some people in this round table to talk with. And I underline the fact that the trade union of the minerals is a key issue in the Donbass to um, go in a peaceful way. They represent the economy of the Donbass. If they stop to work, if they go on strike, you can imagine that uh, the, all the movement in the Donbass can collapse. They are the key issue of the Donbass. That's why we have to talk with those rep representatives of civil society. And we don't have to underline very much uh, the power of some separatists. We have to work with uh, positive people. So you think you think if the if the miners um, go on strike or even the steel workers actually stand up, they the, the separatists would collapse or aren't don't these guys have their own agenda and they're all split off into little groups and are uncontrollable and don't really care what happens to the economy or what happens to anything else? Uh, you know, I think the economy is the first issue with. Uh, <laughs> in all the society, then if the economy collapses, the society collapses. And uh, if the minerals go to strike, uh, the, 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 um, the power of the separatists will collapse. Sure of that. Thank you. Thank you. Other question? Okay, thank you very much, bye.